Hey, how's it going, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. On this channel, we talk all about personal finance, the stock market, ETFs, and so much more. Today, we're going to be taking a comparison of Cisco as well as NVIDIA and kind of comparing the two and contrasting them as well because a lot of people have actually been talking about Cisco and the bubble that came to be that particular company and... You know, a lot of people were talking about how NVIDIA could become the next Cisco. I'm not saying this is going to happen by any means, but, you know, because there's a lot of um, very polarizing opinions when it comes to NVIDIA, I just want to be very clear about that because this is something that, um, let's just say, somebody like Kathy Wood has actually, you know, straight up said that NVIDIA is the next Cisco. So there are a lot of very important people that have said this comparison and have pointed this out in particular. And I think it's a very interesting discussion to have. So without further ado, let's take a look at some charts. people have wondered when, you know, NVIDIA is going to potentially collapse. Now, I will say that just yesterday, as of recording this video, then NVIDIA did have quite a tremendous dip from their all-time high, and I'm sure a lot of people who were investing on Friday, then they were not very happy, to say the very least. And a lot of people have actually laughed at a lot of investors that have, you know, sh either shorted the stock or aren't big believers of NVIDIA. Now, I also do have to say that Cisco and NVIDIA, what's going on with artificial intelligence and what went on back then in 2000 are completely, completely different. The dot-com bubble and what's going on right now with artificial intelligence, in my opinion, are totally different things. Now, I do have to say that there are competitors to NVIDIA, such as Broadcom, as well as, you know, AMD as well, just in terms of the artificial intelligence space and, you know, people investing in, you know, different stocks aside from NVIDIA. Now, Broadcom, I don't think it, I don't believe is a direct competitor with NVIDIA. I'm just talking about with the stock in general. Someone may prefer to invest in Broadcom rather than NVIDIA. Unpopular opinion, but that's fine. So I really just wanted to show these charts for everyone out there and kind of get, try to have everyone take a look at it for themselves because I really do believe that pretty much the numbers speak for themselves when it comes to NVIDIA compared to Cisco. Now, I did not make this video by any stretch of the imagination to say that NVIDIA is going to wind up like Cisco. That's not the reason why I wanted to make this video. What I why I wanted to do this is because a lot of people are talking about how NVIDIA and just, you know, comparing to Cisco in general. That's really it. Um and um, you know, like I said, NVIDIA and the AI revolution is totally different from Cisco and the dot com bubble. And, uh, you know, where we're going to end up is anybody's guess and how Kathy Wood has sounded the alarm about NVIDIA. And it is very important, by the way, to mention that she did miss this tremendous rally in 2024. However, 
This is an extremely famous investor, and it's definitely worth talking about. She's the chief executive and chief investment officer of ARK Invest. So that's who she is, and she has quite a resume. She is almost kind of like a Warren Buffett, maybe, of this generation. I guess you can possibly compare it to, almost. I mean, she's not quite there, but, you know, she's definitely uh, an opinion that is worthy of a discussion, for sure. So... Kathy Wood, um, so she noted that NVIDIA, unlike Cisco during the dot-com era, faces competition. So this is what she said, quote, Longer term, unlike the history with Cisco, competition could intensify not only because AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, if you don't know, that's one of their competition, NVIDIA is, um, NVIDIA has, um, is finding success, but also because NVIDIA's customers, cloud service providers and companies like Tesla are designing their own AI chips. She has a point. Listen, don't get me wrong, okay? Uh, you know, I'm not going to discount her opinion whatsoever because I definitely take everything into account when we're talking about NVIDIA. I always, 100% of the time, always have a new, as much of a neutral opinion as I possibly can and try to get my bias out of, you know, this NVIDIA rush that I, you know, that everyone has to invest in this particular company and because of this tremendous rally that they have been having recently. But you need to keep in mind that there are other companies, she's right, like Tesla, that is um, designing their own AI chips as well as um, you know, advanced micro devices, which is another stock that is definitely a company to be reckoned with. So Business Insider says that she drew a parallel between Cisco riding high on demand for network hardware during the internet boom in the early 1990s. Oh, look, a lot of people are comparing NVIDIA to Cisco. I don't know if that's necessarily a fair comparison as of at least right now. So it's a similar technology moment in time, Wood said. She recalled that Cisco stock soared by 31 times in the 3.5 years from to March 1994, then tanked 51% over the next four months as recession fears and the release of rival offerings caused customers to cut back on orders. So the stock rebounded to rise 71-fold by the peak of the internet bubble in March 2000, but then crashed about 90% over the next few years and hasn't come close to its dot-com high since. Yeah. He highlighted that the microchip stock has jumped 117-fold in the nine years since February 2015 and 23 times since October of 2018 when the crypto winter hammered chip sales and sent NVIDIA stock down 56% in three months. So article continues blistering growth. Wood's point seemed to be that Cisco's routers and switches enabled the internet revolution. NVIDIA's has emerged as the AI era's defining company. And when a company plays such a key role in a new tech paradigm, it can see dramatic swings in its stock price. It's also very important to note, too, that there are other AI companies out there, and there are also companies that are developing, such as Apple. Apple just announced that they are really focusing on AI and really getting there into the game um, with artificial intelligence, for sure. And you t have to take a look also at stocks like Broadcom, as well as um, Google, you know, as I said before, AMD, these are all, you know, companies that are in on the AI game as well. And it's very important to note that, yeah, sure, NVIDIA is the face of the, you know, AI revolution. As of today, things can definitely, you know, start changing and start evolving. So, if you like this video, if you believe what this person is saying, um, leave a comment. Kathy Wood, that is. Uh, really uh, really an interesting point of view that she has for sure. Whether she's right or wrong remains to be seen. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you, hopefully, in the next video. You should subscribe to this channel. is because we provide so much amazing content just like this, talking about the stock market, finance and all of that and we try to make every single video that will be relevant a hundred years from now 
as it is relevant right now today. Thanks so much once again for checking out this video of Income Views. Remember to subscribe. If you can't subscribe, I cannot continue making videos just like this one for you. Also remember to click the like button and also comment as to what you think of this video and what else you would like to see in terms of personal finance, Warren Buffett content, and so much more because we cover it all on this channel. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next video.